What's up everybody? I'm here with another video, with an unboxing video, and this time I'll be unboxing, I think it's like a hundred something dollars worth of cigars. I've just got this box today. Uh, it's been delivered from uh, Dominican Republic. Uh, it took only, I think maybe like two weeks to arrive. Uh, but, so, all things considered, it was super quick. So let me just uh, start unboxing the box. Uh, first thing I noticed, it has this rubber band here. Not sure why it's there, but all right. Uh, interesting. Okay. Cut it first. So let's hope there's uh, there are no surprises. Uh, it looks nicely wrapped. Ooh, yes, good. So first thing I noticed, it has this kind of a bag inside. I can already see there's a Baveda there, so that helps. It definitely helps. So I have two packs. Let's let's open them and uh, let's see what's inside. Uh, I don't really remember what I was uh, ordering, so. Yeah, it's going to be kind of a kind of a surprise for me. So let's see. And I have to uh, also mention that I'm considering this uh, box kind of a, a budget box because uh, I was basically ordering simply based on the on the value. I was not ordering anything that uh, that costs more than. Seven dollars a stick. So good. So then I can already see I have these uh, Rocky Battle, the Edge, one's a torpedo, the other one's a Toro. Um, yeah, looking forward to these. I've already had one of these, so that's why I uh, ordered another one. What is quite surprising is the fact that these sticks cost like five dollars or something like that. So, uh, worth every penny, I would say. Uh, let's open these as well uh, for my battery dies. So, nice. I will just uh, sort them out first, and uh, then I will then I will take account. Uh, good. So again, Bovida pack. I don't like one of the, one of these packs was uh, kind of sealed properly. The other one wasn't. So um, I'm not sure uh, if they're smokable right now. I will not smoke them, of course. I will put them in uh, my humidor for some time. Let them uh, sit there for a while. So that's uh, 14 cigars. Uh, let's uh, double check the price. Yeah, so it was $102 uh, shipping included. That means that was quite quite cheap, I would say. That was quite quite cheap because uh, again, I have 14 sticks for uh, $74. And then, with the shipping on top, then that that makes the hundred and two dollars. But uh, to be honest, like I would say, that's a quite a good uh, good good price. What did we get? So we so what I ordered was uh, uh, Hoya de Nicaragua Rosalones. So if I uh, 
pronounce it correctly. Uh, so these uh, I've ordered two uh, budget cigars, cigars. But yeah, uh, let's try them. Never tried it, so we'll see how uh, how it is. Uh, so two of those. Then we had uh, Matilde Serena. These two. Um, also, never tried. I should mention that this order was basically almost uh, made out of budget cigars that I have not tried yet. So I wanted to try these uh, cheaper cigars because I, you never know, right? You can it could be also uh, a sleeper. It could be like a, a hidden gem, just as uh, these. Uh, R piece, uh, the edge. So, yeah, you never know. So, I wanted to explore the options. Also, as already mentioned, two RP, the edge, two of these. So, we have six so far. Then, uh, we have EP Carrillo New Wave Connecticut uh, Never tried these Again Fit into the budget <laughs> so uh, We'll see how they are Two of them Now TDR El Cor Criollito, Criollito. I, I'm not sure if I if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but don't kill me if I do. Uh, yeah, Criollito. I don't know. So two of these. Never try those. Uh, not really uh, aware of uh, any other cigars from this uh, brand. So, yeah, but it comes from Honduras. Uh, sorry, from uh, Dominican Republic, so I guess they are going to taste good. They look good. Wouldn't say uh, boutique or premium. Also, the price is not boutique or premium, but uh, always looking for surprises, right? <laughs> Uh, next one, uh, La Galera, Connecticut, never tried these, so let's see what these are about. And last but not least, the Aurora, La Aurora. 1495 Ecuador. I like the R. You can, you can probably tell, right? So, La Aurora, Ecuador. Uh, two of these as well. So, again, uh, cigars on budget. So, uh, not expecting anything out of this world except for the the RPs that I have already tried and I know that they are great so uh, that one will not be a surprise for me at least the rest we'll see I'll, I'll taste them and I'll, I will let you guys know how they were uh, how they tasted hopefully uh, they will be good I'm not expecting them to be bad so a taste <laughs> Uh, the plus but judging just by looking at them I think they will be good yeah we'll see and if not I will give them to some of my friends you always have one friend who needs a cigar right so yeah good so talk to you soon don't forget to Check out my Instagram, you'll find the link somewhere. 
below. Uh, you can reach out also on Facebook. The link is also below. Uh, I mean, in the description, you don't. I'm not going to play around with any like, you know, icons and stuff like that. And um, and yeah, uh, let me know if you like the video or not. Give me some uh, ideas for improvement or some ideas for new videos. What I should try next. Also, check out my T-shirt. Cigar World Prague. Nice, right? Uh, I designed it. I'm not selling it. <laughs> Just trying to show off. Good. So, see you later then. Ciao.